Well, there is new evidence this week that FBI officials lied to the Senate Intelligence Committee about information in the infamous Christopher Steele dossier. You may remember, that's the bogus dossier that helped kick off the Russian collusion investigation. And that investigation wasted a whole lot of government resources and millions, like $35 million of your tax money. My first guest has plenty to say about that new evidence. Here's my conversation with ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee, Congressman Devin Nunes. Congressman, welcome back. Let's get right underway. On Friday of this week, it was announced that Kevin Kleinsmith, FBI agent who worked in the general counsel office, had agreed to plead guilty for falsifying information. This is part of the John Durham in, uh, investigation into the widespread Russia collusion story. Nobody has been on top of that more than you have. Tell us how you reacted when you heard there's finally some indictments that are starting to trickle out. Well, thank you, Governor. And as always, thank you for having me on. And this has been a concern of mine for a long time that we weren't seeing any indictments whatsoever because Klein Smith, who I jokingly refer to as the famous French lawyer at the Department of Justice, I say <laughs> that because you may remember from the text messages, he was the Viva la Renaissance guy. Uh, he had already been named in the Horowitz report. Um, so, look, I'm glad we don't need any more French uh, resistance <laughs> leaders at the Department of Justice. He pled guilty. I think it's a weak cop out on his part. Um, hopefully he's going to cooperate and we will be able to get this will lead to other indictments because I don't think this guy just acted alone or made some kind of mistake. Hopefully he's cooperating with the investigators. Well, and this is not some obscure guy that just uh, shuffled papers. Uh, he had a high position, was part of Mueller's team. And, and as you and I both know, and our audience may not be aware, but sometimes the way the feds work, they go after the little fish first, and then they use them for bait. And they toss them out there for bigger fish to bite. So the fact that Klein Smith is the first that really has been named kind of makes me think that they're squeezing him for information, and this is far from over. Well, it, exactly. And we don't know the emails and text messages that, that House Republicans were never able to get our hands on that hopefully Durham did get his hands on. So, so and I, I agree with you, too. This, this is not just, the, uh, you know, a, a, a phony French-speaking DOJ lawyer. He was actually one of the top uh, lawyers that worked on this case. So I want, I want everybody to understand that. Now, you know, we've always believed that there were, you know, four or five uh, dirty cops at the FBI that were involved in this. But we also have to remember there's people that are outside the Department of Justice who also need to be looked at, uh, you know, including you know, the Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Committee's involvement in creating this, this mess, you know, through a former uh, British spy named Christopher Steele. All of these things have to be followed up on, not to mention, you know, Fusion GPS, you know, who have you know, multiple uh, uh, leads of, of lying to Congress, from my perspective, to both the House and the Senate. So I hope there's a long way to go here because, you know, this is going to be, th this mess has to be cleaned up in order for the American people to have faith and confidence in our FBI and in our justice system. Congressman, you've been excoriated by the media and even colleagues in Congress because you have demanded answers. I'm just assuming, and I want you to respond to it. Do you feel a little vindicated in that every time true facts have come out, you've been proven to be right? I don't know of one single case in which you have been controverted by the facts. Yeah, look, it's been, it's been a long road. Uh, but the main thing that I always remember, Governor Huckabee, is that uh, when they're shooting at you, that means you're right over the target. So, you know, if you go... <laughs> You know, back to early 2017, I was taking all kinds of flack. And, you know, and that was when, you know, I originally came out with all this and people thought that, wow, you know, they, they just didn't believe that, you know, the FBI or the DOJ would do something like this. And quite frankly, neither did I, but the evidence was quite clear at the beginning. And then, of course, it's gotten worse and worse and worse. And a whole bunch of people have been implicated uh, in this grand conspiracy. And, you know, hopefully people will pay the price ultimately. But I, I always take it. Uh, as a badge of honor that uh, people in the uh, on the left and the mainstream media are attacking me because that means I am doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. 
Over on the Senate side, uh, Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin has uh, wanted to issue subpoenas for people like James Comey and uh, John Brennan and some other higher ups. There was some report, and there's been maybe a, a, a bit of confusion about it, that there were some Republican senators who were pushing back against Senator Johnson for wanting to issue the subpoenas. C can you help us understand what is happening and why on earth would there be any pushback to get those folks under subpoena, under oath, to tell what they know? Well, there shouldn't be any pushback, but I think as most people know, we have a, a few uh, problem children uh, in the United States Senate now that represent very conservative states, but in fact are not very conservative, it turns out, including one of our past candidates for president, uh, who I know you supported Can't and I supported. Can't imagine who you're um, talking about there, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, it's it's just, frankly, it's just so disappointing, Governor, yeah, to have- it is. Uh, you, you know, to have somebody that represents, you know, the state of Utah like this. And then, you know, they're, you know, and they were accused, you know, you, you would think after his, his candidacy in 2012, that he would understand, you know, we were out there defending him because, you know, he was accused of tying his dog to the top of the car, that he was a crazy person. Uh, he was going to cause all kinds of problems if he was elected. Um, you know, the very thing they accused Romney of doing, of John McCain of doing, is the same thing that they and George W. Bush, for that matter, is the same thing that they did. They did to Donald Trump. The only difference is, is that this president is a is a street fighter, and you know if you hit him, he will hit you back. And so it, it seems to me like there's a lot of ill will, um, maybe some jealousy on on the part of of some of the senators, um, which is unfortunate because uh, you know look as you know you know you've run for president. And look at the end of the day. Uh, you got to pick up and you and, and you know that what we're fighting here is socialism and Marxism and rioting in the street and things we've a, a corrupt court system, a corrupt Department of Justice. So, you know, why a Republican senator would stand in the way here, it really leads you to believe, uh, you know, does this person, you know, have some type of mental issues? Uh, and I say that because, you know, as, as a United States senator, why would you have a, a Twitter account that's an anonymous Twitter account that you've been out, you know, following people and, and writing things on, on Twitter? It's, it's just a bizarre pattern of behavior. Uh, and I think possibly, you know, he needs some help. You, uh, you pushed back quite a bit early on for our, uh, the Democrats who were just intent on Russia, Russia, Russia. Uh, now those same ones who wanted nothing but that are saying, okay, okay, now that we have uh, some of these people coming forward, let's just move on. Let's just drop it and move on. Explain to the American people why just dropping this and moving on is not the best idea for them as the American people. So, so what I would say to that is, is that the people that want to drop it were actually involved in it. So we still do not know uh, what did the Democrat leadership know and when did they know it back in 2016? Because we do have evidence that the Obama era officials briefed senior Democratic officials on the so-called you know, dossier that was put together by Fusion GPS that was ultimately it was the Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Committee that put that document together. So I think what you're seeing here is, is, is they want to get as far away from this as possible because they were in on it. Not to mention, you know, how many times did they go out in front of the American public and accuse the president of the United States of being a Russian agent, of accusing me, of accusing uh, Senate Leader McConnell, of accusing, you know, everybody in the White House, Trump White House, you know, including your daughter of somehow carrying Putin's water. This is really crazy talk. Uh, and, and that's why these people want it to, to go away. The, the Democrats want this to go away, which is exactly why it cannot go away. This, there has to be a reckoning uh, for this. We cannot be in a, live in a country, uh, you know, that's as, that, you know, so far we've been the most successful Democratic Republic in history um, without uh, a clear uh, and, and fair justice system. Where, because I can promise you, if Republicans had done something like this, uh, the Hoover building would have been burnt down right now. They would have sieged Washington, D.C. Uh, and look, they would have rightfully 
done that because you have a corruption of the intelligence agencies of the Department of Justice by a political party. Uh, it just so happens to be that Republicans believe in the rule of law. Uh, we don't believe in violence. We don't believe in rioting. And we think there's a way that this can be fixed. Um, I hope that's true. That's what Attorney General Barr has said in recent interviews. Uh, and we're really relying on the Attorney General and the Department of Justice to clean this act up, or there will be people like myself who will be very, very hesitant to ever uh, involve, uh, be involved in any type of intelligence uh, activities whatsoever, uh, because we know that they are uh, political and we know that they work for the Democrats if they're not held accountable. Well, we appreciate what you have done. I think uh, not only have you been vindicated, but you have been uh, truly revealed as a person that America needs to be grateful to. By the way, you got a new book coming out called Countdown to Socialism. Boy, what a great topic, and uh, I wish you the best. I hope people will get the book and realize that there are people pushing our country towards something that is a big failure. Uh, but one thing's not a failure, and that's your congressional career. Thank you for uh, being there for all of us, not just the people of your district. Congressman Devin Nunes, great to see you. Hope to have you back soon.